Hey everyone, my name is Taps, and if you've been on Twitter and YouTube today, then you saw that Dan Schaubel actually released his interview with Gary V and Gary's reaction to when Dan brought up Vivi. I've had time to digest all this, and in this video, I'm gonna break down Gary's unique response, what stood out about it, and what the incredible result has been. Basically, Gary V just gave Ecomi and Vivi free advertising and is going to unintentionally bring more Vivi users with his new venture. I'm gonna explain this as this is an awesome turn of events. As always, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the community and feel free to subscribe. I'm a crypto stock and real estate investor, but never a financial advisor. First, shout out to Dan Schaubel, who is an incredible asset, voice, and well-connected ambassador for Ecomi and Vivi. Make sure you watch this video, subscribe to his channel, shout him out on Twitter. But Dan is a former writer and interviewer with Forbes, Time Magazine, and Metro International, and is a New York Times best-selling author. With over 156,000 followers on LinkedIn and 151,000 followers on Twitter. He's got that blue check mark. And we are lucky enough to have him as a loud and proud Omi Homi. He's done several interviews with Gary Vee over the years since 2011. But let's take a look at what Gary said when Dan actually brought up his phone, brought up Vivi in the interview. I do have to say I have a lot of respect for Gary and understand this reaction. So this is not throwing shade of any kind, but just to actually go through a breakdown of some of my thoughts on this interview and the following. I, I know that you you are like Mr. NFT, but you're also like NFTs is like part of your, your career, obviously. Like you're always forward looking, you're always testing, you know, with your own NFTs in the marketplace, you're launching and everything that you've been doing. So you've said that 98% of NFT projects will go to zero and call for an NFT winter. What do you think will be the 2% that appreciate long-term in value? I'm not sure. I'm incredibly positive. My big bet is CryptoPunks, just given the nature of its status of establishment. Um, what about like IP, like, you know, like VV with NFTs and like Disney NFTs with like the, the Marvel problem, and Star, the pro, Star the pro, Wars? And, the problem is people, I come from a collecting background, so I'm too yeah, smart. Me too. This. Good. So you know Promise. this. Good. <laughs> so you know this. Not every, not even close to every Spider-Man has value. What about the first ever Spider-Man NFT? Of course. The question becomes though, which one, right? Maybe like versus on-chain versus what if Solana wins the day in 12 years? Then it's gonna be the first Solana Spider-Man, not the first ETH, right? So we're too early. See where I'm going? Yeah. There's, there's a lot to think through. You could bridge over to different chains. There's a lot to think through. What is actually an NFT versus a digital asset? Maybe closed environment, you know, decentralized. Well, it's, it's, like switch, it, it, it's switching away from clo being a closed environment, though. It's going to be the question. Eat. The question will, yeah, I know that. But the question will become will the market accept it as the first, or was it the first that minted on mainnet because hmm. they didn't got it? Because now it won't be the first that's mint. So there's all the, and all of it's awesome. Like, I actually have no idea. At a minimum, uh, you're having fun and you're learning about this space. I have many weaknesses, but one of my strengths is being able to read people really well. And clearly Dan caught him off guard and love seeing the Phantom, but I think Gary's response was that of kind of a deflective kind. And I believe that's tied to one of his new ventures, which I'll get into, but bringing up Solana and not acknowledging that Vivi has the first NFTs of Spider-Man. I think he just didn't want to paint himself into a corner and that he just doesn't know enough about Vivi, but he has known about Vivi since April when he did have an initial conversation with the team in VaynerMedia, which I'm now thinking most likely they're not working with VaynerMedia yet. And maybe this call back in April was for him to pitch them, which they may have turned down because I imagine somewhere around a million dollars. And at that time, it just didn't make sense when they're around 100 to 200,000 users. But I don't really understand the Solana possibly overtaking ETH in 12 years and then recognizing what the first NFT is because that's a long period of time away and it's already being solidified now. Because as you all know, we're in phase two of the immutable move. So all of those collectibles, all those NFTs, the first Marvel, the first Disney are being reminted from GoChain onto Immutable X, which Gary Vee is actually a investor of Immutable X, but we're seeing reminting an existing assets, collectibles, comics onto layer two Ethereum, which is the most used and recognized crypto and NFT built blockchain in the world. And Gary even mentions CryptoPunks. And Gary, even in this video, as you heard him mention CryptoPunks, which will be one of the small percentage of NFTs that will survive the crypto winter. Why are CryptoPunks so valuable? They were one of the first NFTs. Being a first in the NFT space in general has 
hold a lot of weight. We've seen it time in and time again. The first Cardano NFTs, the first Solana NFTs, the first Ethereum NFTs, the first Immutable X, look at Moody Crows. So having millions of collectibles that are actually first from some of the largest, most recognized brands and IP in the world on Vivi, now being pushed onto Ethereum, holds that weight. It holds that significance in the NFT world. Because I agree with Gary, I do think that the crypto winter will wipe out about 95% of the NFTs out there. And the ones that will survive will be the first and the ones that hold a strong weight, have utility, some metaverse ties, and a strong community, which is all Vivi, especially the community side. I mean, look at Bored Apes and Cool Cats. That's what really kept those around and kept them going. And our community is loud and proud. So much so, Gary actually tweeted a response. Yo, what's good, everybody? Just making this quick video because I saw my interview with Dan. Dan, thanks for the interview. Um, just commentary on VV, like, just so there's no confusion. A, I'm cheering for fucking VV like crazy. B, I don't love talking about things in general when I'm not 100% sure or haven't done the homework. I haven't gone hardcore on VV enough yet to really know what I think. You know, I'm, I'm seeing the headlines, you know, like through my stream, like now on Immutable, I love layer twos, but like, let there be no confusion. I don't have, even in my small investments compared to my career in Recur or Candy, like I'm fucking cheering for everybody. I don't think, the biggest issue right now in the space is people think that this is an or game. With the amount of meaningful IP in the world, um, Vivi, Solana, ETH, Candy, Recur, Dapper, the world is abundant. Like, everybody can win. It's gonna come down to execution. Who executes and who doesn't? And, you know, for me, when I'm putting my name on, like, this is gonna work, like, I feel comfortable about crypto punks. But, like, like I said the other day, like, I'm just learning. Like, I don't know if Wolf Game's gonna win or not, but there's enough there on the game in Canada. I'm like, let me check out if this could become the Axie Farmville of ETH. I don't know if the first Spider-Man of BB works, but like, I will absolutely look into that. You just can't get to everything all the time. People are airdropping me projects. I'm getting a thousand DMs. I'm running a massive company. So for the BB community, just want you to know, like, I got fucking love for your red circles. I just don't have enough information. I haven't, I'm not good enough yet because I haven't dug and clicked and looked into it. I had my BB meetings early. I just haven't gotten quote unquote around to it, but fucking... I think everybody can win. Absolutely well said from Gary, and I couldn't agree more, right? Like everyone's always freaking out when another licensor from Vivi comes on to like Dapper or Palm or another one. And they're like, oh, like this is a huge issue. It's not a huge issue because we have the first of many and other licensors will go to other projects but we'll just keep building out. And we have multi-year partnerships with the biggest brands in IP. So Gary came on his Twitter to do a whole video for 2.6 million of his followers to see, which has over 3,000 likes, 632 retweets about six hours ago. And essentially says there's a lot of players coming in the space that it's so early that all project in the space will benefit and shouts us out. But he doesn't have enough information, right? Which the responses from the community have been very much like, let's get you more information. Like Vivi will be absolutely killer on its own, but we definitely want someone who is being recognized as an outspoken voice for NFTs to be in the know. Jeremy Padauer responds to Gary, I was introduced to VV in 2018. Next time we talk, I'll walk you through this one. Again, the man who is the global master toy licensor for Pokemon and an Ecomi advisor for almost two years. The community is involved. I mean, Alex, the director of marketing from VV responding and even Andre Jick saying, hey Gary, what's the best way to get in touch with you in response to just all of us like, hey, we just wanna get you more information. That's how strong our community is. Is. The reason I don't believe he jumped all over is because he's directly involved with this new project coming, Recur, which is backed by Gemini, which is the Winklevi twins, Ethereum co-founder Joe Lubin, and Gary V, which drops in 16 days and seven hours. And when you look at the IP, you can see Hello Kitty with Sam Rio, Rugrats, so Nickelodeon, which is all actually tied to Viacom CBS, which we already know. We already have the licensor, which it directly says here on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So we can probably expect some of these to also hit VV eventually. As you can see, Star Trek, some other movies and TV, which we have tons and channels available now through the Disney partnership with ABC and Fox. And then it goes into some college teams and then more coming soon, but not a whole lot of IP yet, right? Which VV already has 55 brands on the app and hundreds with an S. As we heard from the recent AMA from Dan, still to come. But this, this recur, 
All of it is very bullish for Vivi. Because Gary found out and saw what Vivi was building earlier on this year and is now involved with a potential competitor in the space that validates the kingpin of the space. Vivi, look at what they built out. 1 million active monthly users in one year. And David just confirmed in the interview today, 2 million app downloads. So as Gary stated in his Twitter post, all are gonna benefit in this space. And when people sign on to Recur, and he's talking about Recur, a lot of these other users will be hungry for more IP, for more brands. They're like, oh, okay, Star Trek, but what other Star Trek collectibles out there? Oh, what is this Vivi thing? This is a win. This is a win for him bringing more awareness into the space. It validates that digital collectibles are here to stay. We already have competitors like Terra Virtua and Quid and many others who are doing well and growing as Vivi continues to grow. But all of these projects funnel to the GOAT, Vivi. So in summary, our collectibles are in a good spot. The market will realize that they are first because our community will and has been letting them know. But once they're actually on an Ethereum solution, that's the proof. There it is. And when they're able to buy and sell in OpenSea, Immutable X Marketplace, actually tied to a blockchain, the rest of the world floods in. Dan crushed this interview. Gary is a fan and is building in the space. Our community is just getting bigger and bigger. And we're about to finally see some utility with the OMI token directly into the app. The moment Momentum just keeps stacking and the names associated with Ecomi and Vivi just keep getting bigger. This is a win fam. This was free advertising basically for Vivi and Ecomi, And I can't wait to see what other big names just got clued in today thanks to that tweet. So, so much love to Gary. And when it comes to Vivi NFTs, we're all going to make it. Wag me. As always, I hope you found my content valuable. And if so, please hit the like button and leave a comment down below. The likes and comments appease the algo overlords and help my channel continue to grow. And if you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button and notification bell for future content. That's it for today. I'm Taps. Thank you for your time, man. Happy trading.